Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, today we've got this is just an update on the the British line, looking at uh, what what I uncovered at the the World of Tanks event in London, the War Gaming event, and just a bit of footage. So it's all live footage. I sadly, I haven't got a copy, and I'm not a super tester, but this is much as the the information that I got on the day from wargaming but remember that it's not the finished product it's it's sort of um, it's a work in progress it's as things stand at the moment it's 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 a super test version it's not the finished version of the uh, of the british line but here it comes so see you soon well this is this is where it's all happening there's havoc and the guys all over there all playing Oh yeah. There's Oink, there's Oink taking his pickies. Mr. Mr. Old Mr. Creative over there. Oh yeah, there he goes. <laughs> and we, we are just getting down to some serious gaming. I'm going to be getting into these ships, trying out the new British ships. This 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 tank mode is, is already it's already live today. I just haven't had a chance to, to play it. So the, I want to. I can't wait. But I want the ships. I want to test these British ships out. And little Miss little Miss Bear is going to be uh, she's going to be filming me rocking or ruling or blowing up or. But just testing them out, you know. So that's how it goes. Well, yeah, she's had two games and she's won them both. So how can, how can I how can I have a hundred percent record when I haven't got a hundred percent record? Oops, what a pity. Never mind. So yeah, I'm going to hand it back to Little Miss Bear and I'm going to have a look at these uh, these ships. In fact, let's have a look at the ships now. So, and yeah, it, this will be on the tripod. Oh, we've got coffee there. Oh my god, she's just, she's just amazing. No, I've got me a coffee. Oh, you got you a coffee. Oh, oh, well that's not quite so amazing. But, um, it, it's halfway. It's, oh yes, please, that would be lovely. <laughs> Let me just, uh, okay, let's check this out. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the British tree. What have we got? This mouse isn't. Uh, I'm not happy with this mouse. <laughs> okay, we have the black swan. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Cruiser. Let's have a look at the full stats on this bad boy. So, hit points 6450, artillery uh, 3 double 102 mil good. Let's get rid of the armour. Uh, 3. Let's have a look. Yeah, back to this. Three double, 102 mil guns. Uh, seven kilometres of range. Okay. Yep, seven kilometres. AA defence. 40 mil guns. Out to a range of 1.2 kilometres. Manoeuvrability 28. Top speed 19 knots. Turning circle 320. And a run shift time of 2.9. Uh, can be detected at uh, seven kilometres by sea or 5.4 kilometres by air. Let's have a look at the, uh, the, and this is what it looks like. It's quite a nice looking ship actually. Yeah, quite, quite impressive. Right, let's have a look at the, uh, the tier two. So this is the, uh, the, the Weymouth Cruiser. So the Weymouth is a uh, is a tier two cruiser with with uh, nineteen thousand one hundred hit points, armor sixty one to, uh, to, to six to fifty one mil, and we've got five points of artillery. We are looking eight hundred hundred and fifty two mil guns with a uh, a range of uh, nine point eight kilometers and a shot velocity of seven hundred thirty three meters a second. Let's have a look. Firing range, yep, 9.8 kilometres. AA out to 2 kilometres and it's got 40 mil Mark 1 guns. 
Then the manoeuvrability, speed of 26 knots, turning circle 500 meters, and a rudder shift time of 8.2 seconds. Concealment uh, can be detetted at 10.3 kilometers, and a, uh, by air, 5.3 kilometers. So let's have a look at the, uh, the ships. You can see these single guns, but there's actually a lot of them, which is pretty, pretty cool. And four funnels looking good. Then we've got the, uh, the tier three, the uh, Calidon. Let's have a look at the, uh, the details. Hit points 17,500, armour 6 to 76 mil, artillery 552 mil guns, and it seems like quite a nice uh, reload time of 18, uh, let's have a look, 8 seconds. Turn time uh, 18 seconds, firing range 10.8, then this has now got torpedoes, 4 double 533 mils, range of 6 kilometres which is quite nice, and speed of 53 knots. AA defence, 2 40 mil bofers and 2 76 mils. So we've got two, uh, yeah, two kilometres and three kilometres respectively. Top speed 29 knots, turning circle 530 metres, pretty nice actually. Rudder shift time 7.8 seconds, nice. And then we're looking detectable at sea, the range of 10.1 uh, kilometres and by air 4.9 kilometres. So it's quite a stealthy uh, ship for, uh, for tier three for the cruiser. Then we have the, uh, the Danny. So you can see the uh, torps there. So let's have a look at the uh, the details. The Dane at uh, tier four, hit points eighteen thousand four hundred, armor ten to seventy six mil, six points of arm, uh, artillery, six hundred and fifty two mil guns, which fire out to a range of eleven point three kilometers. Pretty nice, and then you're running torpedoes. So four triple launchers, which are pretty nice. Torpedo range six kilometers, and the speed 53 knots, the same as the, the other version. AA, you're looking 12.7 Mark threes, four, which are out to, uh, to 1.2 kilometers. Vickers twin 40s, out to two kilometers, and 76 mils twins, out to three kilometers. So not bad at all. Maneuverability, you're looking 30 knots, turning circle 540, so very nice maneuverable uh, ship and a rudder shift time of 8.5 seconds. Detectability by air, by sea of 10.4 uh, kilometres and by air 5.4. Let's have a look at the ship itself. Nice, it is a nice looking ship, quite, uh, quite sleek and yeah, a nice number of torpedoes on each side, yeah, looking pretty good. Then we've got the uh, the tier five, the Emerald. So let's have a look at how this actually uh, works, so, or how it fits. So we've got uh, 24,000 hit points, armor 10 to 76 mil, Artillery 33 points, main bat batteries 752 mils, out to a range of 12.4 kilometers. Pretty good. So 752 mils as the uh, main batteries and secondaries 302 mil guns. So the uh, the primaries you are looking at HE uh, shells, 12% chance of uh, setting fire. The secondaries have got a 6% chance of uh, setting fires. So this is where it's starting to get interesting. Then you've got the main, uh, so, so 12.4 uh, 12 kilometers, torpedoes, four triples, 533 mil, six, the same six kilometer range, and 59 knots. So a nice number of torpedoes, but a nice, pretty nice gun with a disper uh, looking dispersion of 118 uh, meters. So very tight grouping. Then we come to the AA defense. Six 
quad, quad uh, 12.7 mil Mark 1 guns out of 1.2 kilometers, 40, two uh, 40 mil uh, Bofors out to 2 kilometers, and the 102 mils, which are the secondary armament, also work as uh, as anti-air out of 3.3.5 kilometers. Very useful. Top speed 33 knots. Turning circle 670 meters, rudder shift time 10.9 seconds, very, very nice. Detectability by air 11.5 kilometers and by, uh, by sea 11.5, by air 6.7. A very, it, it's a larger ship, so that explains the, uh, the ability or ha the detectability and the range. So nice, nice. Then we have the, uh, the Leander at tier 6. Now, now the guns, you see they, yeah, they switch up, shift up to, uh, to doubles. So let's have a look at the, uh, the ship itself. So hit points, up to 24,500 hit points. Armour, 13 to 100, 100 mil. Artillery, 13 points. Main battery, 4 double 152 mils in those, those turrets. Secondary armaments, 4 double 102 mils. With a range of 12 kilometres. You actually notice it's less than the, uh, the Emerald, which is 12.4. But you've got the twin batteries, so let's have a look at the main battery's uh, accuracy. 116 meters, not bad, and a fast uh, uh, turn time of uh, 25.7 seconds. So let's have a look at the torpedoes. Two, the Mark V torpedoes were looking two, two times four, five, a lot of torpedoes, which uh, that standard range of six kilometers. The speed of uh, 59 knots, so they're okay. Let's have a look. AA, th this has got, got a lot of, uh, of AA defense. We're looking uh, for twin times four, 12.7s out to, uh, to 1.2 kilometers. The Ehrlichan 20 mils out to 2 kilometers, 5 uh, 20 mils. Then you've got the uh, 40 mil Vickers 2 pounders. Eight number two times eight number forty mils out to two and a half kilometers. Then you've got the hundred and two mil secondary guns, which are four doubles out to five kilometers. That's, that's a, a heck of a range. So very very nice. Top speed thirty two and a half knots. Turning circle six hundred and forty meters. Very nice with a rudder shift time of eleven seconds. Not the fastest, but not the slowest. It's, it's okay. It's passable. Detectability, but see. 10.3 kilometers, so it's 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 a nice, uh, not bad actually. 10.3 kilometers by air, 6.7 kilometers. Okay, and let's have a look at the way yeah, the guns are laid out. So two at the front, two at the back, and uh, very very neat profile. Let's have a look. I like the way this looks, and we'll have a, let's have a look at the uh, the armor layout. So armor, you're looking 25 mil on the front. There's not a lot. 25, 25, the four deck 16 mil. There's not a lot of armor. These Citadel 100 mil. So there's a lot of armor which can assist you if you're shot here. So let's uh, move on. So that's the, uh, the 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 Leander. Next at tier seven, we have the uh, the Fiji. Let's have a look. So, hit points 27,500, armor 13 to 89 mil, so it, it drops. Then you have the, the guns. The main battery is four triple turrets, 152 mils. This looks very, very nice. And you're looking accuracy, 129 uh, meter uh, dispersion, very nice. Uh, total rotation, 25.7 seconds for 180 degrees, nice. With AP damage 1500, firing range 14 kilometers, and let's have a look. So the secondaries, uh, four double 102s, then we come to the torpedoes. Twin triple 533 mils, torpedo range 8 kilometers, and an increased speed of 61 knots. Very nice. You've got the, the increase of 2 kilometers and the ability 
of the, uh, the, the the torpedoes to to get there faster to, with a, with a higher range. Very very nice. AA 35 points, which is very nifty. Uh, five twenty mil there. Ehrlichan Mark 5s out to uh, 2 kilometers at the base. Then we got uh, two 20 mils also out to two, uh, 2 kilometers. Then the 40 mil Vickers out to 2.5 kilometers and the 102s out to 5 kilometers. So a nice anti air defense on this. Maneuverability maximum speed we're looking 32.5 knots, which is very nice. Turning circle 570 meters and a rudder shift time of 12.1 seconds. Very nice. Now it's a little bit bigger, so detectability range by at sea 11.11 11 uh, kilometers, and by air 7.3 kilometers. Now we're looking gun-wise 14 kilometer range, so you can be firing the guns and not be seen, which is really nice. So you just got to sort out those destroyers. Let's have a look at the uh, the armor layout. Front of the turret, 102 mil. Now armor t t thickness 102 mil. You've got proper armor here where you need it, so that's very useful at tier seven and these guns. So let's have a closer look at these guns. I like the way these look. The very fast turning. Then you've got these, the twins here, which look very, very nice. The rear, you're back to these double turrets with fast firing 152 mil guns. Very, very nice indeed. So that is the, uh, the Fiji. Then at tier 8, we've got the Edinburgh. A very... oh, that, oh, that looks... Uh, oh, oh, surprising. Okay, let's have a look. So, hit points, 31,800. Armour, 16 to 114 mil. Let's look at how it's uh, laid out. So, very similar, but there seems to be a lot more, lot more Citadel armour, 114 mil and the main battery um, armour 102 mil. The front 22 thickness, that's an additional 6 mil, which is quite nice. So that's, that's quite a nice armour layout actually. Then you've got the main batteries, 4 triple 152 mils, out to 14 kilometres. Secondaries, firing range of uh, 5 kilometres, 6% chance of fire. The mains have got a, uh, a chance of fire as well. And then with the secondaries firing out to uh, to assist with the anti-air. So let's have a look. Torpedoes, twi two triples, 533 mils, out to that uh, that eight kilometers, the same as the Fiji. Same 61 knot speed for the torpedoes. So there you've got the, uh, the Mark IVs, which are very nice. And then the AA defense, 20 mils, out to two kilometers, the same. So uh, eight 20 mils. Then you've got the, uh, the Ehrlichan cannons, also out to uh, five kilometers. And then you get the Vickers uh, two pounders, three times eight, 40 mils, two and a half kilometer range from the, uh, the two mil of uh, the uh, Ehrlichans. And then the 102 mil guns out to five kilometers. So very, very nice, 42 points of anti-air, useful. Then you've got the top speed of 32 and a half knots. 32, very, very nice and a turning circle of 640 meters, 680 meters, rudder shift time of 13 and a half seconds, 13.4 seconds. It's a larger ship, so it's got detectability at sea for 11.7 kilometers, with detectability by air at 8.1 kilometers. So it's a nice looking ship, tier 8, I quite like the little, it's a little bit wider. Let's have a look at the anti-torpedo bulges. Yep, it's got that additional armour here, 114 mil at the waterline, which is very nice as, a, as an anti-torpedo measure. So then we come up tier 9. Tier 9, we've got the Neptune. Now this looks like a proper ship. So let's first, before we look at the guns and everything else, let's look at the armour layout. Armour layout, we are looking 16 to 102 mil. Let's check out 102 mil below the waterline 22, and this area, the Citadel armour belt 102. The front of the turrets 102, so a lot of 102 mil areas, 76 in the Con Conning Tower. So, and the front, I'm expecting, yeah, 22 mil. Cool. So, hit points 39,900. 
torpedo protection uh, reduction 13%, which is very nice. The main batteries, four triples, 152 mils, out to 15 kilometers. Secondaries, six doubles, out to, uh, to five kilometers. So, then we go down to the torpedoes. Four quadruple 533 mils, very nice, with an increased range of 10 kilometers. So, it's got the same 62 knots, but it's got that extended range by two kilometers, which is a nice additional uh, bonus. Then we've got 78 points of, of anti-air defense, which is really, really good. So with 14, 14, 20 mil Ehrlichens, very nice, out to uh, two kilometers. Then you've got the, uh, the Bofors, three and a half kilometer range with these. DPS 123, it's absolutely epic. Uh, 10 twin 40 mils. Then you've got the 100, 100 14 mil guns, which are the secondary guns, six doubles, which can go out to a range of five kilometers, very nice. And you've got the set AA guns, which are out to uh, the 152 mil Mark 25s, which are out to six kilometers. Now, normally you don't see, you don't see that at all. Very, very nice indeed. That additional one kilometer before any other buffs is really, really nice. These are going to mince through uh, just any air, air power. These, I think, will just completely mince them. Maneuverability, we're looking 33 and a half knots. Uh, turning circle radius of uh, 710 meters. Rudder shift time 15.1. It's a little bit slow to turn, but it's got all the additional uh, armor belt the side, which will stop any torpedo. 30% from the torpedoes that do get chance to hit it. So it's if you know if you know there's a destroyer there, just turn. Don't keep going like a battleship. Just make sure you're not there. Then concealment. 13.1 kilometers, not so good. It's a larger ship, so 13.1 kilometers by sea, by air, 9.1 kilometers. But the guns can fire out to 15 kilometers. So you're, you can, you've got a one, almost a two kilometer uh, difference where you may not be spotted, where you can use those guns, which is very, very nice. Then, top of the tree, we've got the, yeah, the Minotaur. Tier 10 British cruiser. Oh, let's go back to the, uh, the Neptune and have a closer look at the other uh, guns. So the Neptune, these triples, all the secondaries at the side, all of these launchers, so the twin, twin quadruple launchers at the side, these big guns, all these triples, these are going to be firing and moving and these will be a nightmare for destroyers. And, and I, I can see if you get the right side shots, you'll be chewing through a battleship as well. So uh, yeah, that looks really nice. So then we get, come to the, uh, the minor turret uh, tier 10. Let's have a look at the, uh, the armor layout. Oh, that, that looks a little bit more impressive already. So armor. We are looking 16 to 101 mil. The front of the turret is 101, but these sides also 101 and they're angled. So it's a smaller target and you can bounce more shots from that. The rest of the mantle 36 mil. The front 22, the sides 100, 101 mil right the way along the waterline. So very good anti-torpedo uh, anti measures. Up above 101, the rest of this 22 mil. So, it's it's okay. Then you've got the, uh, the conning tower, 25 mil. So let's have a look at uh, how it all fits together. So hit points, 43,300. Quite nice. Armor, that's 16 to 101. Then torpedo protection, the same as the uh, as the Neptune, 13%. It's okay. Guns artillery, 14. We're looking five twin, 152 mil. So the, you drop to the number of guns. But the Neptune had the triples, 152s. Now these are out to 15 kilometers. Let's check out the tier 10. So the tier 10, the main batteries, out to 15.8 kilometers as a base. So not 0.8 kilometer better. And dispersion 142 meters, which is quite nice. Then you've got the, yeah, the so let's have a look, just the, the main batteries there. You haven't got any secondaries, which is very unusual. Just those main guns on the mine at all. Let's have a look, turning speed, uh, 4. 4. 4.7 seconds to turn 180 degrees. What the? This, oh 
Oh my god, this is just immense. Whoa. Destroyers, watch out. Anything, watch out. This is horrendously fast. Oh my god. Okay. And it just with with guns like this as the mains, you don't you don't need secondaries. Oh my god. Okay. Torpedoes. Four quadruple 533 mils, 10 kilometer range, that same 62 uh, kilometer uh, 62 knot speed. Very nice. AA guns. The uh, 10 double 20 mils out to 2 kilometers. The 76 you got 76 mil 70 mar, uh, mark 6s. Eight doubles out to five kilometers. This is a lot, a lot in a small package. Let's see if it's as manoeuvrable as it seems to be. It's going to be effective. Then we've got the uh, 152 mils. So you can, these 152 mils are also AA defense. So if you're not, if they're not firing at planes, if they're not firing at ships, these will be turned onto uh, to planes. Six kilometer range. So you've got five kilometers with these and 6 km with 152 mils for an, an AA defence of 94. 94! It's huge, absolutely huge. This is going to decimate any, any fighters coming in. Okay, speed-wise, you're looking 50, uh, 33 and a half knots, which is uh, no slouch. Turning circle 660 metres, very nice. Let's check it again against the, uh, the Neptune. 710, so it's actually, as I thought it would be more, it's, it's more nimble, it's been cut down. So, a 15 metre, a fi ra uh, better radius. Rudder shift time 10.4, compared to the, uh, the tier 9, you're looking 15.1. So, you're 4 seconds... 3.8 was that right? 3.8 seconds faster shift time in the Minotaur than you are with the Neptune. This is going to be twisty and turny. It's not going to be there. You know, this is really, really nice. Then uh, detectability by uh, sea, 11.5 kilometers. By air, 9.1. Neptune is bigger by the look of it, 13.1 and 9. The, by air it's the same detectability, but the range by sea is about 2 kilometres further. 13.1 compared to 11.5, so just, a, just over 1.5 kilometres further away, or closer this can be, than the Neptune. This is really, really nice. And combining it with the armour profile, the speed of these guns, the accuracy, and that they, they double up as anti-air, these look absolutely fantastic. So this is the uh, the, the lineup of the uh, the British ships. So let's have a look. So Black Swan. This hasn't even been upgraded. What? Okay. So the the modification gives you a plus 10 increase, a firing range increase to 7.7 kilometers. So the first, so it can be buffed. It hadn't been in the background and this is what you can, can expect. Then at tier two, we come to the Weymouth. This hasn't been buffed either. So what are they playing at? Okay, so 10% increase uh, by 0.9 uh, uh, kilometers to 10.7 with this buff. Very, very nice. Then we come to uh, HMS uh, Caledon, the same thing. So, the 10% buff by 1 km to 11.8 km, very nice. And the there's a buff to this, let's have a look. Hit points go up by 1500 with AA mounts go, go to plus 2. Let's have a look, so... AA defence increases and the manoeuvrability gets better. Rudder shift time drops to very, very nice. Then we come to the uh, Diana. The Diana, you can upgrade the uh, torpedoes. Reload time is uh, nine seconds by, uh, yeah, nine seconds better. Is that better? No, that's nine seconds worse, actually. Maximum damage uh, increases and the torpedo speed increases by six. Torpedo range stays the same, so you choose whether you want this. Then you've got 10% uh, better accuracy, uh, range increase by uh, 1.2 kilometers, which is nice, and an increase of hit points for two, two and a half thousand. The rudder shift time decreases by 2.4 seconds. It looks really, really nice. So then, does the armor change? Doesn't really look like. Okay, then we come to the Emerald. 
emerald wise let's check the differences so emerald wise you have a 3100 additional hit points AA increases so let's check out the AA you let's have a look, AA defense plus nine so it increases the AA's overall but it's not exactly showing how so you, you do get a nice buff of by point that's 40 percent 40 percent increase in AA when you uh, when you buff that you've there as well as that you've got the, the this the change which is the same reload time uh, increase more damage by them the same speed and the same range You've then got that same 10% buff of 1.2 kilometers to 13.6 kilometer range for the Emerald. And then you get the, uh, the Leander. Leander has got a similar situation. So uh, the hit points increased by uh, 4,200. AA defense goes up by three. Not a lot. So it's not, let's have a look, damage DPS four plus 14 plus six. Minus eight, but a firing range increase on the 40 mils to three and a half kilometers. So that's actually quite nice. So, as well as the, so, yeah, that that is a nice buff. And maneuverability, turning so the rudder shift time decreases by 3.2 seconds. That's a really really nice buff. Okay, then we go to the uh, the Fiji. Fiji, we are looking. <laughs> Points additional 3,900 with AA defense increasing by 11. The 20 mils are not as good. The these Urlikans they are vastly better. So you get more of the increase of the of the better Urlikans. The Mark Fives not as good, but you get an increase of the firing range by one kilometer. And the Bofors. A decrease in the firing range, a decrease in the firing range, and a decrease in the DPS. Interesting, but overall, you've got a, a plus 11 AA defense. Maneuverability, rudder shift time, and it increases, or it, 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 it gets better by three and a half, so it, it decreases by three and a half seconds to a very nice 8.6 seconds. Hi guys, sadly I got to call that an end there. I had one of the developers of the uh, of World of Warships come over and remind me that it was a, um, a just a, a work in progress, a development copy, and not the real finished product. So please, please take all of these figures with a uh, with a pinch of salt. Like I was on the uh, the closed beta test of World of Warships, and we need to look at all of these figures as, as as a total work in progress. But I hope it gives you some idea of where the British line is going. And I hope you um, you will join me in getting more of them, like the War Spite, which is uh, one of my favourite ships. That that you look forward to the the British line as much as I do. So um, yeah, here's, keep up the good work, War Gaming, and just and for you in the background, just keep, keep watching this space. I will bring you the information, and bear in mind that these figures are only a, a point of reference at the moment they're not a finished product so th there's a lot of testing to do to be done in the background so i hope this helps put in the comments what uh, what you think and and i will keep the content coming for you so thank you very very much and um and see you soon cheers guys bye